I'm Jerry Herbst, and today we're going to drill down to the brass tacks and hard facts of how to check our pressure testing equipment for accuracy. Line gauges and piezometers are extremely sensitive pieces of equipment. Unfortunately, they're normally stored in a high-rise bag with other metal objects and jostled around on the rig constantly. You should institute some sort of a check program, whether it be weekly, monthly, based on frequency of use, to ensure that they are accurate. The simplest way to do it is to have a series of gauges that you can stack in tandem, put them onto a discharge on the rig, cap the end with a shutoff from a nozzle, and charge that gate. You'll compare the pressure on your line gauges to the discharge gate pressure to the master discharge gate pressure. If you see a variance, that's the suspect that may be off. If all you have is your in-service high-rise bag that has one gauge on it, you can still do it, same setup. Put a nozzle or some sort of a shutoff to cap the end, put it onto a discharge, charge the gate, and compare this to the line discharge pressure and the master discharge pressure. Again, as I stated, the line gauges are extremely sensitive, so they should have a fairly consistent frequency for checking. If you do have a gauge that's consistently 5 or 10 PSI off, it could just be due to atmospheric pressure or temperature. We've got a vent feature on the gauge. You simply go from closed to open. If the needle resets at zero, the gauge has gone back into calibration. If the gauge is still off 5 or 10 PSI, it needs to be replaced. There is no way to recalibrate these gauges. They have to be replaced. Line gauges are an extremely sensitive piece of equipment. They may be used in a high-rise bag. They may be used for testing. Either way, you're looking for accuracy. The frequency that you test them should be based on their use, and it should be a very important item in your daily equipment checklist.